In this video, we're going to look at how to save multiple uh, worksheets in, uh, from an Excel file into uh, a PDF. And I want to save this uh, into this folder, so I'm just going to take the uh, path of the folder uh, if needed afterwards. On my Excel file, uh, what I want to try potentially is to uh, export this uh, sheet number 4, the home page, let's say, and then the sheet number 5. So we're going to say sheet 4, home, and sheet 5. All right. So on my macro, I'm going to look at uh, what I need and I need mainly uh, two variables, the name of the PDF I want to create and then the path of the PDF I want to create. So that means that we're adding the link of the folder where we want to save it. So first off, I'm selecting here the name of the PDF, which is going to be my PDF version 2. And then I'm going to look at the path and I'm going to adjust this path with the folder I selected uh, previously. As you can see, I create the path with the uh, path of the folder and then the name of the PDF. Then I want to select uh, the worksheets by name. So here I'm just going to uh, potentially replace this. So I'm going to say 4 and 5. So I'm exporting sheet 1, 4 and 5. So 1, 4 and 5. So that should uh, help us uh, figuring out if it actually works or not. And then we're going to create the uh, PDF with the active sheet dot export as fixed format and this is where we set the type which is pdf and then most importantly the file name here which is equal to the variable path pdf now that i did all of this i'm just going to launch the uh, macro and uh, once it's over i'm going to be able to uh, go on my folder here and i can see that the file has been created I'm going to open the file just to double check and as you can see this is the uh, worksheet number one, the uh, number uh, three or and then the one uh, number five here. So uh, every uh, worksheet has been uh, exported as uh, planned. Um, that's how I did it. I selected those three here by name. So all you have to do is make sure that the name is exactly the same as the ones that we have in your Excel file. 